Hey guys, welcome back to the Crespo Crew. Today we're going to be doing a back to school haul. Yes. So we're going to start off with junior stuff just because Kaylee's is a little more patient. So we figured we'd film your stuff first, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so if you don't know just a little bit of background, my kids are eight and nine years old. So our, my kids go to a public school. I actually work at their, Junior, you have to be looking at the camera now. I actually work at their school, um, but I'm on maternity leave right now. So we um, just went and bought them just the necessities that they need. I don't like to spend too much on back to school because I find that by October I'm replacing a lot of stuff and I'm spending more money. So... Um, we um, just got them the basic stuff, but this year, because Junior is going to the, what grade are you going to? Third grade. To the third grade, that means he gets to leave the little kid hallway. Our school's separated by hallways. He leaves the little kid hallway, and he goes to the third grade hallway, which is like in the middle. So he's not the big kids of the school yet, but he's not the little kids anymore. So I wanted to kind of mix it up a little bit and get him a few pieces that are still within the dress code, because they do have, um, they have like certain colors they can wear. So they can wear white, light blue, dark blue, or yellow collared shirts usually. Um, it's usually polos or like button down shirts. And khaki, dark blue, or black pants. So I just wanted to get him a few things that were a little more grown up but that I know are still within their dress code. It's not a strict, strict uniform dress code, but it is a uniform. So I want them to still dress within that, but I wanted to be a little more fun about it. So we'll start with clothes. The first thing I'm gonna show you, well, He's going to show you. He actually bought himself, and these are not for school, but we bought them on a back-to-school sale. So for those of you that don't wear uniforms, he got two pairs of jeans at the children's place. And these are size 12, and that's mainly because he's a long boy. <laughs> he's very tall. Um, and they were $7. Yeah, $7.99. So $7.99 a pair, and they're originally 20 bucks a pair. So he actually got a gift card for his birthday. And he picked these two out. They're kind of similar in color. One's a little lighter than the other. Um, they're not skinny jeans, but they're, you know, a more fitted fit. So I like that. And, yeah, they're on a good sale right now. So if you don't need uniforms, definitely go check out the Children's Place for jeans. Um, they do have their uniforms on sale, too. But for jeans, I just figured I'd mention that. So let's get into his uniform. So most of his stuff is from Target or Marshalls. So, um... The first place we actually went was Target, and I didn't buy him a lot of pants only because, number one, he rips his pants. How many pairs of pants did you rip last year? All of them. Exactly. He rips the knees of his pants so quickly, it's very, very unbelievable. <laughs> so I decided not to buy him a whole huge wardrobe of pants and just buy him a few pairs, and then we can go back and replace them when he inevitably rips them or when he grows out of them. So we got, let's see, I think just these two pairs of just regular uniform pants, you know, with the button, the regular classic khaki school uniform color, khaki colors. He has a black pair of pants that I bought him at the end of last year that still fit him. So he has those as well. And then I got him these, which are also by Cat and Jack. These are straight, like, more like a fitted, like, not a skinny jean, but more like a fitted pant where those are more, you know, the classic uniform pants. And these are a darker khaki color, so um, they do have elastic, which he likes because it's easier to get them on and off. I understand that. Um, I got him a pair in this color, and they say they have a reinforced knee, so let's see if he can... Um, rip through that reinforced knee. So I got him those in the khaki color and I also got him a pair of the same kind in dark blue. So he does have five pair of pants, one for each day of the week. I'm just not gonna go crazy buying him a bunch of pants because we're I on them. yeah we're on year three of him ripping through all of his pants. So um, he also does have shorts that he can wear for the beginning of the school year while it's hot. Um, the other thing, which he's kind of embarrassed to show, but here, Junior, share what that is. No. <laughs> <laughs> you do it. 
We got him some new underwear. Woohoo! Um, Chinger wears boxer briefs. We won't be showing you Achilles' underwear because that's, um, it's a little different with girls, I guess. But these are basically shorts. Um, we got him these Beverly Hills polo ones for $7.99 at Marshalls. And these are the, like, the tighter fit boxer briefs, but they're like a really good cotton material. So we got him the polo ones. And then these are the ones that he always gets and they're the Calvin Klein these are from Costco and it's a four pack and I think we pay ten dollars for these so we got him some new underwear just to weed out the old and get new ones it's not embarrassing you walk around the house in your underwear why did you say that <laughs> delete that what do you want <laughs> that'll be in the bloopers here you could share what those are yeah. so we also got just some what are they Shirts. What kind of shirts? Polos. Polos. So we got a white one. And I get them kind of big because the shirts do last a while. We got them a white one. The classic blue one. Like I said, blue, white, yellow, they can wear. And then we got him a navy blue one. Yeah, navy blue. Um, and these are just classic polos. He does have also spirit shirts he can wear for school. But... We got got to get him some polos either way, so he has options. And then these two, I'm actually really excited about. Are you excited about these? Yeah. And not so before. we bought these at Marshalls, and they are school colors, and they're button-down shirts. So this one has lightning bolts. Yep, lightning bolts on it, and the brand is Broken Threads, um, and these are ten dollars each. But they're so cute, and I feel like it's still within uniform. It's still the same color. It's still, you know, he's not going to school in, like, weird street clothes. He's going dressed up nicely, so I feel like we can get away with these. And if, by any chance, there's a problem, then he won't wear them for school, and he'll just wear them on the weekends, which is fine with me because I think they're super cute. So I got this one in dark blue with the white lightning bolts, and then we got... One in white with dark blue airplanes. Yep, it has the dark blue airplanes on it, so... We got him both of those, and those are in a large, so they'll fit him kind of loose, and he can grow into them a little bit, so I really like that. And then we got... Some socks! And where do we get the socks from? From, from Costco. Does that, that's where we usually buy his, them, their socks. Um, this is 12 pairs, and I believe this is $7.99 or $9.99 for their socks, so he picked these. Um, it was... Brand? Yeah, it's by K Bell, and it, it was a big debacle because he wanted some ones that had a different pattern on them, but those were long socks, and he didn't want long socks this year. So those are his socks, and we'll go with these first. He got two new pairs of sneakers. Um, he outgrew all of his sneakers. His sister didn't grow as quickly as he did over the summer, but he outgrew all of his sneakers. So we went to Famous Footwear, and they had a buy one, get one 50% off sale so we got a pair for him and a pair for his sister and he got these Nikes they're really cool um and they were actually on clearance for $35 so we got both pairs of their shoes were clearance and we got them for buy one get one 50% off so it was a good deal and these are called Son of Force and they're just black and white high top Nikes and they're really cool like Junior says what does that say? <laughs> Nautica and then he got these at Marshalls for $16. What's Clearance. the brand? Nautica. Nautica. And they are just these like gray, grayish boat shoes. So he can wear these also for school. And they're a little dressier. So he's got two new pairs of shoes. And then we got a few things at the Dollar Tree for him. Pick them all up. Um, I got a blue binders and Star yeah. Wars decal stickers so to decorate So explain to them, right. So he got this blue soft-sided binder. Um, technically, they don't ask for binders, but they do start using a like a planner in school in third grade. So I got one of these for Kaylee's last year as well, and I just have them put their planner in here, and then that way I always know where their planner is, and I give them sheet protectors so they can put like study guides for spelling and whatever. So we have everything in one place when we need to study spelling or anything like that. But so for girls, they had a lot of patterns, but for boys, not much. So we got he got this really cool blue color one at the Dollar Tree, and then he got these Star Wars decals. Yep, they're repositionable stickers. So he's gonna stick these 
onto here, not today, no, but not today. eventually, and then he will decorate this and we'll write his name on it in Sharpie and he'll be good to go with a cool binder. And then what'd you get for inside the binder? We got a green pencil case. Yep, he got this nice green pencil pouch. Those are his two favorite and colors. And the last thing we got for Junior. Let me explain this a little bit and I don't, I'm not gonna explain it twice. So this is for both kids. Um, we buy the kids really nice quality backpacks. Um, we bought them probably two years ago. We bought them at Eddie Bauer down in Charleston. And um, Eddie Bauer has a great, um, I guess, exchange policy. It's kind of like a warranty on their stuff. It's a lifetime warranty. If anything breaks on their backpack, you take it right back to the store and they will replace that backpack, either give you the same one, um, even if you wanted a different color or one of equal value. And this year, since I'm pregnant, um, we didn't make it to Charleston, so they didn't get to switch their backpacks, but they do have extra backpacks as well. They have some black ones that were given to my husband at work, so they have the choice of which backpack they want to use, and they can change it up week to week if they want. Um, but for the black ones, they're, since they're plain black, we went to Hobby Lobby and we picked up some iron-on patches just so the kids can kind of make them more interesting. So Junior got these baseball, like the threads from the baseball, and this one that says baseball, and we are going to iron them on just to make his backpack new and fresh and exciting. So that's that's everything you got so far, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that is his little haul. Um, I'm I'm thinking his haul is going to be a lot quicker than hers. She got a few extra accessories and stuff. Um, oh, there's one more thing. Oops. Two more things. Oh, yeah. He got two more things we forgot about. Show them this. I got some erasers and they're tool shaped. They're tool shaped and where do we get these? From the Dollar Tree. From the Dollar Tree. So he'll keep these in his little pencil pouch. He thought they were so cool. So we had to get them for him. And then he'll have, you know, pencils and whatever. We have plenty for him to choose from. I've got like a whole stock of them. And then we picked this up yesterday. It's an umbrella. <laughs> Where's it from? Ikea. Ikea. And he'll keep this in his backpack. It's Junior's part of the haul. And now we're going to call Kaylee Silver so we can do her part. So you want to say bye? Bye. <laughs> All right. So now Kaylee's is with me and we're ready to do her haul. Now Kaylee's is going to... What grade are you going to? Fourth grade. Fourth grade. So that means she's moved out of the middle of the ground third grade haul and she's on to the big kid haul. So again, we tried to do a little bit more amping up for her because she's older now and instead of just getting the plain polos and skirts and pants and Dresses. um yeah and just keep it I mean it's still within dress code. I made sure that it's still within dress code um colors and styles of everything and I won't be putting her in anything too revealing or anything like that. But I wanted to amp it up. Last year we amped it up a little bit by adding some pattern leggings to her wardrobe and a few different kinds of shirts. Um, I think this year we amped it up a lot more. But before we start with actual school clothes, I will share that Kaylee's also got a pair of jeans at the Children's Place for the same price. Um, yeah. Seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. These are the Children's Place super skinny because Kaylee's likes her pants super tight. Um, and jeans and they're size eight. And Ten looked a little too big. Yeah, so she got these. Um, she also had a gift card. So she actually bought another thing from the Children's Place, too, with her gift card. But she bought these. And um, let me see if I can find the other thing you bought. I also got this dress, and it has, like, a little triangle in it. We, we tried it with the polo, but it didn't look nice. So we just thought since it's black, it'll work out. Yeah, so we're going to try this for school. Um, I try to get her stuff she can wear with a collared shirt just because that is dress. So um, it is. this is actually a size extra large which is pretty big because she's a tiny girl um, but she's really she's got long legs so we got this so that it could reach to her knees um, so it's a good length for her. So it won't be short and then the principal telling me I can't wear that. It's right short. so this was originally $16.95 but she got it on clearance I think for like 20% off or something. 50. Yeah. No, it wasn't 50. Yeah, it was 50. It wasn't 50 because oh, you wouldn't I... spend all of your money. Oh, yeah, it was 20. Yeah. So, she got this, and I my thought is if she can also wear it with, like, a shirt over the top that's a collared shirt, so we'll see. We're, we'll try it. But she's going to try this for school, and if not, she's got her cute little black dress 
for whenever. My dad whenever. said every little girl needs a little black dress. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> okay, and then I'll let her show you this one because she's pretty excited about this one. I got one. this button-down shirt, and it has little, like, fancy little sleeves and a ribbon, and it says it has a little bow. I got this from the... It's a, It's called Kids World, I think. It's a store in our mall. We were going to get some from Target, but they sold out. Yeah, that we ordered some from Target. I actually ordered her a white one and a light blue one from Target ahead of time when but they I had their back to school sale. But they canceled my order. I guess they couldn't. They, it just said they couldn't fulfill it, so I guess they ran out of them. And then all... And I really wanted a yellow shirt, so I just picked this so one. So then we went to that store and we got her one yellow one. And you'll see why. It's mainly because she got so much stuff. I think she has a little bit too much stuff. So um, we might have to edit a little bit. <laughs> we'll see. Because um, she does have a lot of spirit shirts as well that she needs to wear because I mommy have, pays a lot of money for. Yeah, I, have, <laughs> I just got like a lot of them last year. So, um, yeah. So she got this one. This is by the French Toast brand, by the way. They do sell them at Target, or they did. Um, I don't know what happened. And this is originally, it says manufacturer sale price is $20. We paid $8.99 at that store. I know they sell similar ones at Walmart as well. I'm not sure if they have the exact details, but I thought this was cute. And she really likes the button-down shirt. So she likes to wear ties I, sometimes to work to school. So I tried um, one last year. And my mom was like, you already tried those in kindergarten. You didn't really like them. So I tried them again. And it turned out good. But then I got really, really tall. And then that one broke. So I yeah. had to get a new one. So we also went to Target and got her a few things. So um, she got this. Just plain cat and jack school uniform. And khaki skirt with pleats. And the, um, the material is really soft. Yeah, so she got this one and I like it because it's a long skirt. It's not a mini skirt, so it's and right it stops right above her knees, so it's not too short because I want to keep her in appropriate clothing. And also it has shorts the under shorts it. attached underneath, which is also a really big plus for um no, not those yet. For school oh, stuff. Okay. And then she got this dress, it's a khaki dress. I already have oh, one. You gotta show the camera. You're holding it over there. The camera oh, can't okay. see it. I had one in my closet, but I don't think I'll be wearing it. But this one, we got this one because my dad likes it and it has a nice stretchy material and it's really soft as well. Yeah, it's like a cottony spandex material. It's shrink resistant and it's just a plain khaki dress with it's some soft. pleats. So um, it does have the zipper in the back. This one does not have shorts underneath, but we have shorts, so that's okay. Won't worry about that. Um, and this is also by Cat and Jack, and it's in the school uniform section. And it says it's originally $14.99, but I'm sure I didn't pay more than $10 for it. And then also from Target, we got her some polos, and this is where I think I might return one. Because I think she's got way too many tops. We'll see. Because we got three of these <coughs> white, um, cat, wait, white collars with this really nice ribbon. That yeah, you the, can't see because it's the inside of the shirt. Yeah, but I just like it. <laughs> That's just the way mommy can tell whose laundry is whose. That <laughs> if it has polka dots, it's Kaylee's white shirt. And if it doesn't, it's Junior's. Because they wear the same time, Kaylee. Say the thing about the pocket again. I was this one has a little pocket on it. And then uh, we also got... One more, so my mom we thinks we got two we white ones. They have a little button detail on the sleeve. Uh, that's already, let's see, she's got two dresses and three shirts. I mean, that's a whole week of school, but we'll see. She also wanted a dark blue navy shirt. Navy blue one. Same exact kind of shirt. With white polka dots instead mm -hmm. of dark blue. But, um, so these are originally $7, but when I bought them, they were on, they were $5. And it still has, like, the good cotton mm -hmm. material. Definitely. And then we went to H&M, and she got one thing from H&M, and for this she does need to wear a polo underneath, but go ahead and show it. It's a, like, square dress. It's a plaid dress. <laughs> a plaid. <laughs> <laughs> and it has dark blue and white on it, and yeah, so it has pink on it. It does have pink, which is not one of the school colors. But, but I wear, like, last year I wore a shirt with, like, white, dark blue, and pink, and they still, the principal allowed me to wear it. So. Yeah, so 
This is um, this was five dollars at H and M, guys. By the way, H and M has awesome kid prices. So it's plaid. I feel like it looks like a school dress. Um, and she would wear definitely a polo underneath this. Like um, a white polo. Yeah, I would not let her go to school with sleeves with no sleeves. Anyways, but um, she would she definitely really need cute. to wear a polo. So we'll see if this works out. This is one of those. Uh, they may or may not say something about not following dress code. If they do say she's not following dress code, she will change and she'll just have a plaid dress to wear whenever she wants. Yeah. <laughs> I have lots of dresses. And these last few clothing items actually came from Justice, Kaylee's Justice. all time favorite store. And we bought a few things there. Um, but we bought her. Um, this black skirt, it has like three layers on it. And then it's really soft material, it's really stretchy, mm -hmm. and it has elastic at the top. So she can wear black bottoms, so she could just wear this with a polo and be ready for school. And we got it a size bigger because it still fits her around the waist, um, albeit a little bit loose, but it's still okay, and it's, the length is good. So we got her a black one because she can wear black bottoms. And, and we, and then, go ahead. And then I got this um, one where it has two sides, like with this nice, like, tie thing x thing and then you could like wear it, it goes on your like sides mm -hmm. and it has elastic and it's really comfortable and nice but it has polka dots and love all over but it's dark blue so we're not sure if i could get that yeah color. i think this one will be fine i don't foresee a problem with this one at all especially with the pattern leggings she wore last year under her skirts nobody ever said a thing about that um, and so we got her this one, and I just think it's cute. It's dark blue, has a whole pattern. So this will be cute with a white polo. Um, and I think it's adorable. The this one I got in a size eight because they didn't have a size ten, but this one the length is good. Um, both of the skirts were on clearance, so I don't remember exactly how much I paid for them. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, it says it. It's originally twenty six ninety. It was on clearance for $9.99, and then they had all the clearance stuff, buy one, get one half off, so I paid $15 for both skirts, so I thought that was a good deal. We were going to get a gray one, but we decided, <coughs> we were going to get a gray one, but we decided to get a black one instead. Yeah, and then I got her these two things, which are essential for us, and these are spandex shorts, and this is what she wears under her skirts and dresses. Um, all the time I buy her the spandex ones she finally outgrew the ones I bought her I think in like first grade this year so it was time to get her some new ones so I bought these at Justice these are a little pricey they're ten dollars each so I paid twenty dollars but my thought is she needs them you know for modesty and all that type of stuff we don't want underwear showing so I got her two pairs she can also wear these for her hip-hop class which she is starting next week so that works out too because she can wear these or the dance shorts. So I got her two pairs of these in a size 8 so she can wear it under her dresses and skirts. And I think, yeah, we'll talk when you're down there. Oh, and I also got these socks. I got these um, really nice um, like knee-high socks and they're like the dark blue and they have a nice X pattern with some hearts on them. So that's, it. that's what it looks like. And then I just got some plain navy blue ones yeah yeah these came from target as well and Kaylee's has a lot of knee high socks she likes to wear them with her skirts and i think it's super cute so um her and my husband saw these and we had to search the whole store to find her size so <laughs> we did and she got these from target and then she got okay so i got these co socks from costco they're, they're not size 12 there's 12 pairs oh <laughs> there's 12 pairs and they're size 13 to 4 and they're no show and I just think these designs are so cute and I could go around the house in them So yeah, we always buy The socks at Costco or my in-laws buy them for them these I think she picked these as the first pair as monkeys um, <laughs> But they are they've got a bunch of patterns. So those will be her socks for school or not for school, whatever And also at Costco, she got this this tracker keeper. And when you open it up, there is a front pocket where you could put like your book in it or something. And then in the inside of it, open it up. It has it brings two. Oh. You gotta lift it up. <laughs> it brings 
two pencil case. It has this nice, like, it has all these pockets and stuff. If you open this up, this is, I think this is where I, like, put homework and stuff. It has, like, these file, like, Expandable file, files, that's right. Uh, expandable files, and it has, like, a pocket right here, and some nice, more pockets, and then two pencil cases. Uh, it brings its own planner, but I'm going to have to use the one from school. Mm -hmm. And this dividers, dividers, and, and then it brings folders. Folders. So it's this whole thing, and what's it called? Let's read it. Mega filled binder by Tech Gear, and this came from where? Costco. Costco. And how much did it cost? Do you remember? And no, but <laughs> so she picked this pink one, and it has a strap, so she can wear this when she changes classes. Um, she could also use this as just her book bag if she doesn't have extra books she needs to carry. But, um, so she got this. It's by Tech Gear and it was $13.99 on sale. I think originally they're $17.99. I'm not sure. And then I got this umbrella from Ikea and I chose this nice pink and pink square with white lines design. Okay. Umbrella. Spoke about that. Umbrella. And then I got a nice pretty from the Dollar Tree I got this um like it says love on it and has a flower and it's like to clean my glasses for school so I can like put it in my binder and then just have it so it's a microfiber glasses. microfiber cleaning cloth and they work pretty good and my husband also got one for himself um and hers says love on it and has a flower so she can take this to school with her and she has a specific one for school and then she has her one from home mm -hmm. And then I got this giant rainbow eraser. And I've been asking my mom for these ever since I found them out that they sold them. And where is it from? The, I got this from the Dollar Tree as well. And then from Justice, I got these some chokers. And I choose this one with a little dream catcher. Here, let me open up the camera. And this one was $3.90. And, and I might have to just do close-ups because you might not be able to see them in the video. And then I got this emoji one. It brings it's a three-pack, and it has three emojis. It has a heart emoji, a like I don't know how to say that. The kissy face, the little winky face one, and like, the and the heart-eyed ones. And these were four ninety nine on clearance. And when we went, it was buy one get one half off of the clearance stuff. So she got another clearance one. And this one has a little moon on it, and it's sparkly, and I thought that was just so cute. And I got that one for $2.99. Mm -hmm. And she got one more thing. Okay, so this was also clearance for $1.99, and it's, it says Magic Mermaid Treasure. And I thought I could change, like, change up the pencil cases in my Trapper Keeper to, like, I could change the black one or this one, and just change them up. And it says, Mermaid Treasure and has some mermaids on it. And I thought that was a toy. And fun fact about Kaylee's, um, she likes pencil pouches. She has more than I do. Mm -hmm. so Not like a hundred. Sometimes when I need an extra bag, I'll say, Kaylee's, can I borrow one of your pencil pouches? And what else do we've got? Okay. Lift the whole thing up. Okay. For shoes at Wise, I got these nice gray with turquoise. Nikes and I just think they're really cool and they have like nice material they this it's high tops and this part stretches and they just look really cool. yeah these are the Nike Mogan mid two junior that's what they're called um, and these were also $35 at famous footwear and um, the reason we only bought her one pair of shoes is first off she didn't go grow out of all her shoes as quickly my mom also gave her some dress shoes for that she can wear for school um some like tan khaki ones and some black ones so oh no actually one of my co-workers gave her her black school shoes so she's good with shoes <laughs> until winter when we have to go buy her boots and then i'm obsessed with jojo so we found this jojo bow at marshall's for three dollars and all the other ones were really expensive yeah they sell these at justice and at claire's and they're at least 12.99 but we found one at Marshall's. So if your daughter is like mine and obsessing over these bows, even though she's got a whole box of bows and she's got a godmother who 
get her custom made bows. Um, they do have some JoJo ones at some Marshalls. I've seen them at two Marshalls already. Um, it's mainly the same pattern, this black one with rhinestones on it, um, but $3 on clearance, $2 on clearance, can't beat it. Okay, and then I got <clears throat> patches for my back backpack, and maybe I'm going to put one of them on my track keeper, but most of them are for my black backpack. So I got this monkey. It's a sock monkey. It's a sock monkey, and I'm obsessed with sock monkeys. She just loves monkeys, <laughs> but here's a sock monkey. Um, and these, again, are from Hobby Lobby. And then I got a three pack, which has a unicorn, a rainbow, and a thumb, and a piece. She got way more than Junior. I wonder why. It's because she's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then to match my personality, I got a peace sign, which has like a nice flower pattern on it. And then to, since I do dance, I decided to get these ballet slippers. I'll have to do a close up. Ballet slippers. And then I, my dad decided to get me these patches and it's like here sit down and I'll hold them up it says K. these are to monogram her name to her either book bag or binder we haven't decided yet probably her backpack but it's the K the mm -hmm. C for Crespo and M for Marie and they were 149 at Hobby Lobby Hobby Lobby so yeah these are just dr like iron-on but they look like monogram and we live in the south so monogramming is kind of popular so my husband thought it would be cute to monogram her stuff this year. So that's everything we got for Kaylee. You're back to school. Everything we got, Kaylee. You want to say bye? Bye. So th so that's everything we've gotten so far for both kids for back to for our back to school. Thank you for watching the Crespo Crew. Please sure you give a thumbs up and subscribe down below and give this video a like. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. The bye. bye.